Oh, hi. Hello, my name is Dorothy and I'm an illustrator from LA. I'm gonna show you my sketchbook today. Please like and subscribe. So I started this in March of 2020. Here we go. So this is the first page. I did this in traditional gouache and this is just like, as you can see, it's a bunch of camping elements and I had a good time. I like the color scheme. I think the background could probably use some work and I feel like I've progressed a lot from this. These are some things that I did when I went on a trip to Hawaii right before the pandemic. Um, and these are some of my siblings. I asked on Instagram what to draw and some people wrote in and let me know that they wanted to see dinos watching old movies on a projector. And this is my brother Chris and some bananas. This I think I did with acrylic wash because it's like really glossy. Um, and then this is a little, I cover them with a little bit of trace paper because they kind of rub off on the opposing page. So that's what I did. Um, this is a cottage, obviously. It's really cute. I like how these flowers are bigger. So that's cool. Um, I covered this page because I think whatever was below it, I really didn't like. So I just painted it with white gouache and then I did a couple thumbnails for a commission that a friend wanted me to do of spam. And I think I went with this, this color scheme here. Um, this is in, I think traditional gouache. So it like rubs off and I got, I remember I recently got some polymer clay. So I was trying to figure out like what to do with it. And I wanted to do some barrettes. So I did these little designs and I think they're fun. I, I really like them. They actually didn't make it into barrettes, but maybe I will make that, especially since it's spring. Um, another trace paper page. This is a theme in this notebook and probably why I don't want to do this again because I like preserving things and it's definitely hard to do. Um, so these are some barrettes that I did actually. So this is like the sketch of them and I ended up making this one. I think I made this one and then some rainbows too, which were really fun. I really wanted these to work. I did actually do one like this, but, um, if you make like a circle with the barrette thing, it just ends up being huge. So the learnings, you know, that you get. This is in watercolor. You see throughout this whole notebook that I struggle deathly with watercolor. I'm not very good at it. Um, so that's something that I'm still working on. This is a page of fun uh, tea time things in watercolor with a little bit of gold ink. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, this, I think I recently looked up as like a Battenberg or something. I just thought it was super cute. And then this is like a Bakewell tart. So if you know, you know. Um, and then this is just some elements from my Hawaii trip that I took and it's in watercolor and a little bit of colored pencil. I really like how this turned out and I really want that drink right now. Looks so good. Um, this is my struggle with watercolor. Um, yeah, I think you can kind of just see like I mix colors and they don't like go all over where I want it to be. And the backgrounds are kind of muddled. So let's just walk right past that one. Uh, this is a page that is fun, but I don't really like how these little freckles turned out. And I think that these are like a little too heavy, but I like these yellow strawberries. And another trace paper page. This is a page of just like little thumbnails. I think at this point during the pandemic, I was like, like everybody else looking up like places to go travel. Um, and I was looking at like the Alps and like Hawaii again, because I really loved Hawaii. I think this might've been Japan and like maybe somewhere in a jungle. So I like how these turned out. They're super cute. And I think I kind of want to make little mini um, canvases of them. That'd be really fun. Um, this, I think during this time I recently got 
like my first Holbein pink gouache and I was really obsessed with it. So I basically from this point on just use it straight out of the tube. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really just had a lot of fun with it. I like this strawberry composition. It's very like loose. I absolutely love this. I want to live here and just have like a pink cottage. I like how these little flowers turned out. But you can see like the gouache, well, maybe you can't see in this, but the gouache does rub off on the other page. Like I did these little, these little circles in the corner and those rubbed off on here. So when I scan it in, I have to correct it. Um, these are some thumbnails for a website that I was designing um, about sweet potatoes because I love sweet potatoes. And then this is my attempt at collage. I think it's fun. I like like all these elements and it could be fun to do a layout with that. Uh, I think at this point I like got obsessed again with Wayne Tebald who does like these uh, cake things and he has like really cool shadows. Um, so I was trying to do that and I don't think it worked out super well. I do like, however, how these window pane like things are highlighted there. I like that. Um, yes, Black Lives Matter. And that's still important. And I think Brianna should have had justice by now. And that's ridiculous. Um... This is another attempt at watercolor that I actually think worked out really well. I remember in the moment, I didn't like doing it. But looking at this again, I really actually like like the how this, um, geez, words, this pineapple turned out and the bananas. I think it could have been like maybe I add a little bit more color, like a red or somewhere in there. But I like it. I like how it turned out. And then I really like this. I think this is so fun and like nice and light and simple. And um, I feel like during our awakening during the summer, like I realized I actually don't really paint people ever and it's hard for me to paint people, but also I don't have a lot of representation. So I'm really trying to work on that. Um, so I was trying to uh, just like play with patterns and different skin tones that I normally don't paint. Um, yeah. A good time. Sorry, I live in a very noisy neighborhood, I'm realizing. I don't know if you can hear. There's people outside. Okay. Um, this is watercolor too, and you can see like I'm being quite timid with it. I would like to like play with more colors, and I do try that. You'll see. Doesn't really work out though, but that's fine. You know, you 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 try. Um, ooh, this is fun. I really like the Still Here, Still Life series. If you don't know, you should look them up on Instagram. They post a still life every week for you to paint or draw or whatever you want. Um, and this one I really liked. Um, I like how the shadows turned out and I think this is just all in gouache. So that's just really watered down gouache. And then I... I think there was somebody posting on Instagram like cakes that they were decorating with really cool quotes. I really wanted to do that. You are, are responsible. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Words. You are personally responsible for becoming more ethical than the society you grew up in. I really like that quote. Let's make the world a better place, everyone. Uh, um, ooh, I... I like this one. I forgot about this guy. So this is uh, some summary things that I did over the summer. Um, and I actually made this into a couple prints. really like them. I like how this SPF turned out. And SPF is very important, everyone. You should be wearing it every day. Even if you're inside. That's what I learned halfway through the year. So who knows what kind of skin damage I've done. Um, yes. Honestly, ridiculous that she hasn't had any justice and it's been a year since her murder so yeah um this is a copy of uh fragonard's the swing i got really obsessed with rococo during last year and i had a good time making like a i played one of those like 
roller coaster theme park games, and then I made it into like a Rococo kind of situation. Maybe I'll post it here. That'd be fun. Um, and then I was like really getting into pattern making because I took a Skillshare class and I was like, ooh, patterns, I can do this. And I tried and um, I tried to make like a layout of this. And I just like, honestly, after I was done, I was like, I'm not sure that this really reads very well. Like this is a, a wig. I don't know if you can tell it's a wig. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave this as a spread. It's fine. Um, yeah, just trying my hand at like different skin tones. I'm so bad at just like mixing any skin tone. So I'm really trying to work on that. Um, having a good time, you know, all these people look very happy. I'm a big fan. Um, I went to Palm Springs with some friends, very small group. Um, and we had a really cute pool that apparently Dolly Parton once swam in, which was really cool. I was like, oh, I'm swimming in the same water as Dolly Parton. Um, and really, I like how this water turned out. I thought it was really cool. Um, and I like how, like, noodly she is and, like, pear-shaped, you know? Representation is good. This is my body type. And I like this contrast of, like, the colors. It's kind of like Miami, but, like, Palm Springsy maybe big fan. Um, ooh, this is so cute. I remember this. And I actually recently made it into a mouse pad too. So you can have cute little mushroomy mouse pad things. Make, make your work from home setup cuter. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm using the straight out of the tube pink again, cause we love it. And this is just a bunch of witchy things. Let's see. Yeah, a bunch of witchy things like spells and love and magic and potions. And, you know, the things that you do. I'm not a witch, but I was feeling the witchy vibes during the October season. So I wanted to get in on that. I'm also kind of obsessed with Christmas, so I did these gnomes. Honestly, I think this was probably during, like, August or something ridiculous, and I was listening to Christmas music. You know, I don't have a problem. It's fine. Um, so these guys are cute. I think my intention was to make this into a pattern, and I never really did. I think I just... Honestly, I don't think I'm too jazzed about this green. And then this is a gnome that is carrying some wood and he's going to take it into his cute little mushroom cottage um to be cozy so isn't that nice oops oh dear oh and this is during a time where i was just feeling you know, as we all are probably a little bit still, a little low and not feeling great. So this is me as a burrito. And then this is just me with rain cloud, you know? Sometimes you just have the feels. Just need to let your feelings, you know, shine, be out there, but not wallow, you know? I don't know. Whatever you feel is valid. So I just wanted to validate my own feelings in a little sketch. Um, and then this is another piece where I wanted to make this into a pattern. And I ended up doing that. Um, I think I made it into like a phone background and stuff for like the Christmas time. Basically just wanted to capture what looking into a Christmas tree is like, like looking at all the random ornaments. And honestly, that's one of my favorite parts about the holidays is looking at all the ornaments that my mom has. And then these are some gnomes that I made into a pattern as well. I really like all of them. They're very cute. This guy's like just disappearing into his beard. You know, she just looks so cute. I love her. And then this guy's beard matches his ornate frame. So I thought that was cool. On this page, I have, um, I drew a witch over a cauldron and I think 
you know, the, the proportions are really off. I'm trying to work on proportions and bodies and fingers and hands, you know, uh, faces too. So that is what I'm going to be working on this year. This is a Still Here, Still Life that I did. I really like the colors a lot. I think it would translate really well to a Rizzo print, actually. And then this is another struggle with watercolor, but I was a lot more bold this time, but I think I got a little bit too carried away with water here because you can see the paper's coming up. This is a page that I did to translate into a pattern that I haven't done yet, so maybe this is a sign. I should do it for the spring, right? And then on this page, I took some of the yellow paint that I had left over and I did a bunch of blobs. And this hot dog dog is like my absolute favorite thing ever. It's very cute. Love it so much. And its toes are so sassy. Um, okay, next page. This, this is the time. So I'm trying my hand at recreating some clue cards. Um... And just like recreating the Clue board game, absolutely not sanctioned by Milton Bradley or whoever produces that game. But I just want to try my hand at it and see what Clue would look like in the 1920s if it was, you know, maybe Chinatown, New York, and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm trying that. Just want to see more people like my grandpa and my grandma represented and I feel like their stories are so amazing and interesting and yeah just something that I want to continue learning about is my heritage and I think a good way to do that is through art so and then these are some flowers that I found on a hike here in LA and I really like how these berries turned out a lot. I like how the colors vibrate. And I really like the like um, gradient on these flowers or just like the coloring of the flowers. I think it's so fun. Here's another still here, still life. I love how these colors turned out. I'm actually selling this as a print on my Etsy shop and Around this time, I, I got a bunch of um, Holbein gouache colors, and this is Opera Pink, and I absolutely love it. I'm kind of obsessed with it, um, so I've been trying to incorporate that more into my art. I like how this this water cup turned out a lot, and like, oh, this area is so fun. I'm definitely very inspired by Wayne T. Bald again with his shadows. And then this is another watercolor fail. I feel like I should like have a watercolor fail like Instagram or something. I'm so bad at watercolor. Um, and then I think this is the last page. So I am trying to beef up my portfolio with some things that maybe like clients would want. So this I'll, I'll share it with you this way. Um, so this is, I was trying my hand at like, what would my illustration look like on like a beer can? And so I was thinking, well, maybe I could do like a hibiscus sour and like, how cool would that be? And it could kind of be like 60s vibes and, you know, just have like a hibiscus in there. And I definitely was inspired by my trip to Hawaii. And um, yeah, I really, I like how it turned out. I like the colors a lot. Um, it gives me like, this gives me magic school bus vibes. Definitely. So, which is what we want. We just want to make magic, don't we? And then this is a self-portrait. It's just all in gouache. And I feel like I'm kind of understanding at least how to do like skin tones like mine, but I want to learn more. So I'm going to look up more tutorials on Skillshare. So yeah, um, that is it. Um, I'm going to leave it to outro Dorothy, I think, to do this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.